Okay, hello, welcome to another Forgotten Vendor video. Uh, today we are in probably... I believe this area has probably made me the most gold, actually. And if it hasn't given me the most, it's absolutely second place. So, we're gonna go through Strangothorn here. There are four locations I'm gonna go through. And we will begin here in Gromgol Base Camp. And right away, I would say visit this guy called Var, Superior Weaponsmith. He sells us the plant's massive iron axe. I have sold this, as you can see, three times on this server and on my other server even more, so I will put screenshots of that. And the most gold I've gotten from this item so far is 1,899 gold. That's all he has right now. In the lower right corner, you can see that he sells Midnight Axe and Daring Dirk or Dirk, not sure. But the plants are the most important. And then the second most important, Nerist. Nerist sells us some recipes that sell incredibly well. You have no clue. Here, recipe roast raptor. I have sold seven. Cheapest for 90 and most expensive for 206. I have sold plenty of these on my other server too. I will show some screenshots and stuff. So recipe roast raptor is something I actually have to restock. So there we go. And then Recipe Jungle Stew also sells incredibly well. I've sold 13, cheapest for 94, most expensive 155. And then we have Recipe Curiously Tasty Omelette. I've sold 20, cheapest for 27, most expensive for 47. And at the end here, we have Design True Silver Crab. This doesn't sell very well, but if you want, and maybe your server has it for more expensive. But as you can see, mine has only sold for 41 gold once. So I'm not gonna get it, but... You do it if you want to. Last guy here is Uthok. He also sells an incredible recipe called Spiced Chili Crab. I've sold 18, cheapest for 89, most expensive for 261. So from Gromgol Base Camp, we have one plants, one, two, three, four recipes that sell incredibly well. The next location is Nessing, Nessing Wary's Expedition. And yes, I am Horde. This is neutral zone. And the vendor we want to go to is Jacqueline Draymet. And she is supposed to sell, as you can see in my lower right corner, as well as Var, Midnight Axe and Plan's Massive Iron Axe. So, if Plan's Massive Iron Axe sells well for you, I definitely recommend you to check this vendor as well. Because then you get two of them. And not a lot of people know that you can actually go here too. And this is one of my favorite locations ever. Right down here to Mosh Og's Ogre Mound below Sulgarub. Just in the trees here. Go down a little bit. You see a little gnome building. And here are two gnomes. The first one here sells Schematic Deadly Scope. I have sold six, one for 188, and most expensive for 251. And then as well, this other gnome called Gnaz Blunder Flame. He sells Schematic Mechanical Dragonling. This I have sold seven times, cheapest for 378, most expensive for 1702. So Knaz Blunderflame and Gnaz Blunderflame in a little secret hideout here. I absolutely recommend. And our last pit stop in Strangothorn is Booty Bay. As you can see, the boat is behind me right now. So we're gonna start from the left. 
for this big building. And first we have Heron Canmay. He doesn't sell it right now, but he does sell, I believe, a long bow, it's called. It's a green bow that I have sold a few times. So check out for that. Good day to you. And then my favorite here is Kelsey Yans. He sells these cooking recipes. I would ignore these first, the top two. Recipe smoked sagefish, because you can find it everywhere. And the recipe sagefish delight, you can find it everywhere. That's why it's so cheap. But then we have recipe giant clam scorcho. I've sold 17. Cheapest for 94, most expensive for 302. Then we have recipe rock scale cod. Cheapest I've sold is for 85 gold. Most expensive I've sold is for 233. Recipe mite fish steak. I've sold 21. Cheapest I've sold for 45 gold. Most expensive is 247. Then we have recipe mithril head trout. Cheapest I've sold is 38 gold. Most expensive, 163. Then also recipe cooked glossy mite fish. Cheapest I've sold is 93. Most expensive, 284. A recipe fillet of red gill. I've sold 25. Cheapest for 93. Most expensive, 309. Then we also have recipe hot smoked bass. I've sold 27, cheapest for 64 gold, most expensive 377. Then I want to mention Nark. He sells patterned, patterned black swashbuckler shirt. Although this pattern doesn't sell well anymore on my server. Uh, learning this and making the shirt has been very going very well for me so i would say try buying this pattern try selling the pattern doesn't sell learn it on your tailor and make this shirt and if you don't already make shirts do it it's really cheap <laughs> and really worth it you can buy these parrots as you can see i do but they don't sell that well. Like this one, the most expensive I've sold for is 169 gold. Eh. Most expensive, sorry, cheapest for 28 gold. Meh. Right then we have Zarina Cromwind. She sells Plants Moonsteel Broadsword. Now, this sells well, but on my server they have gone down in price so much. On my other server I've sold it for, I believe, 3000. I can show screenshots. So I'm not going to restock on this, but I would recommend you too if you, if you don't have it already. Kiss here sells heavy spiked mace and ironwood mall they don't sell incredibly well for me but they do sell but i can't see them right now anyway the next vendor we're going to is actually a little complicated to find but i'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible so it's this tailoring house I believe you can select the second house. <laughs> and we're going to Xisk Goodstitch. Hey, how you doing? His name's our lord. And he sells Pattern Crimson Silk Cloak. What does it say? Minimum buyout 597 right now. And he's the only horde vendor. And then he also sells Pattern Enchanter's Cowl, minimum buyout 189, also the only Horde vendor. 
Same here. You can learn this pattern if it doesn't sell. And you can make the crimson silk cloak yourself. I haven't tried this personally, but I believe this would sell well as well. Region sale rate 0.014. Region average daily sold 0.028. Same with the Enchanter's Cowl. I might try this because I already have so many of these. One hundred eighty-two gold. Not too bad. Cost to make, four gold. Yes, this is estimate. That is true. So after the tailor vendor, Ksisk. We are going to this guy, so just straight here, where the little dangly bits are. Here we have Glix Brew, right? Yo. Right now he doesn't want to sell me anything, but he's supposed to sell, as you can see in my lower right corner, Recipe Frost Protection Potion and Recipe Nature Protection Potion. Here is proof that I've sold the frost protection potion and it says up there Zone, Eastern Kingdoms, the Cape of Strangothorn Vendors, Glix Brevrix. Mm -hmm. So I've sold two of those. And here is proof I've sold the nature protection potion as well. As well, says he is the vendor here. Looks like the vendor in Tenaris also sells it. Alchemist Pestle Zug. So yeah, make your way to him. Hope he sells it for you. And we have our last vendor in Strangothorn. And he is just below Booty Bay here on the, does it say Wild Shore? Yeah. Right here at the camp, you will see one guy. His name is Cowardly Crosby, Eat something? and he, on the second page, will sell us Admiral's Hat. On my server says it's worth 5,000. And in my case, this is the first time I ever visit him, so I will post screenshots if it sells. But remember, if it doesn't sell, learn it and craft it. And there we have it. My favorite location to this day. If it's not top one, it's absolutely top two. I love Strangothorn. I love Booty Bay. Don't take that out of context, but have a nice day and feel free to check out the rest of the playlist. Hope it all sells on your server. Bye.